Happy Friday, everybody. Do you like this glare from this hotel room light? Anybody out there? Or am I the only one who's home? Actually, not home. But with nothing to do. I got rid of one in Nevada, and the other one's down at the hotel pool. Liz, Janice, Sue. That must be Liz. Maybe. It's always Liz. Liz, you deserve a special prize for always being the first one to log on. I'm exhausted. I've been running around all day. I did school shopping in Fayetteville, Georgia. It's a little crazy in my world right now since we're out of town. My hair is a little flat. But I guess it's all good. Let's see who this other person is. It's Donna. Hey, Donna. Yes, Donna, do you like this really ugly green wall? The rest of the place isn't too bad, though. Look. It's kind of got, like, this really cool, like... Kind of industrial thing. Yep, there's my new sweeter, sweetener. Want to see my new coffee pot? Yep, I went out and bought that today. Can you all see it? Yes, it even takes a carafe. Mm -hmm. It's like, find me a Walmart and I'm good to go. I know your hair is never flat, Donna. My hair is always flat. It's what happens when you're going in and out of dog shows today looking at small dogs, which was hysterical because I had a dispute with my stepson who's all about golden retrievers, and I'm not about them at all, although they were beautiful. But I think a small, like, Kraken dog would be good. Do you know what a Kraken dog is, guys? It's one of those little nippy ones, kind of like the ones that my ex has. Anyway, we can get started. What do you mean, no, Liz? You don't know what a Kraken dog is? It's like Cosmo from next door. That's what Donna calls her dog, Kraken. He's crazy. Anyway, it's been a wild day in limelight. Oh, look. Tracy hates it when I have uh, things. See these? She hates that. So I have to move it a little bit. Let's see if we can move it. Uh, you know what? The struggle's real. We'll get over it. I'll look down. Anyway, huge day at limelight today. Lipsticks debuted. It's been off the chain between messages and people just going crazy. It's been really, really interesting. So I'm glad that they've, they've addressed the need, as opposed to, you know, our flat palette lipsticks, to come out with these incredible tints. So we're going to start with these. Um, I have no makeup on. I have a little bit of eyeliner, a touch of mascara. I should probably, nah, you guys will get over my cheeks. Let's pinch them a little bit. Okay, pinch the cheeks. Oh, and by the way, I wore Mask of Zen this morning for oily skin, and I think it really helped while I was at the show. I don't have a whole lot of residual oil today, so life is good. All right. With the lipsticks, and I think I showed you guys this before, they actually click, the tops do, on, which for me is huge because... I always separate the tops from the bottoms of the lipsticks, and because I smoke, I get tobacco in them. It's not beautiful. But anyway, they come full coverage, and they come sheer. The full coverage is called something pouty. Yeah, I'm brain dead tonight. Anyway, and the sheer is called take a hint. So... The way I'm learning these colors is the way they do them everywhere else, by color numbers. If you go onto the page, which you're already on because you're watching this video, you'll see the colors with their numbers and their names. 
Okay, so we're going to make up tonight. We're going to start with the shears that I just knocked over. Hold on, please. This is also what happens when you're in a hotel. You're not going to see my butt. I got news for you. Actually, you may. Won't this be fun? At least I'm in a squirt. And at least I don't have dog hair on me. Donna, all these are moisturizing. Like, really moisturizing. Okay, let's start with color 200. And again, this is a share. This color is best described, okay, as sort of a caramel color. Hey, Janice. It's a great neutral. Janice, I apologize. I look yellow up against this wall, and I've got funky lighting. So that's color 200. Look, pre-opened wipes. I learned my lesson. So we'll take this off. It feels really nice on. Let's see if you can see it on that. Yeah, you can. So again, with the, all the pigment in our products, you saw I didn't swipe a whole lot with the lipstick. Then I have my trusty white cloth here. Now that's interesting. Okay, how do you like that? That's how good our makeoff cloths are. Let's go for color 201. We're doing the shears. This has a little bit more of a pink tone to it. I'm getting to the plum, Donna. This isn't a vibrant pink. It's very, very soft, kind of a mauve -y pink. Oh, I wish you all could see it under these lights. More dusty. So I like that. Susan, I'm not doing names. The names are interfaced on the, um, on the pictures. I do know the color of my, or the name of my next one because it's my favorite. And I ordered one for myself today. Now this one left a little bit of color. Do you see it? Where'd it go? Right here, believe it or not. There's a little bit of color right there. I'm also showing you guys, Susan, how great our uh, make-off wipes are. Because I swear by them. All right, guys. Donna Marie, here's your plum. And it's called Plum Luck. Hi, Karen Williams. Hi, Michelle. Michelle, doesn't Mike have a game? Michelle, type the answer. <laughs> and that's the plum. And again, I apologize for the lighting being so bad. They're very, very true to color. Let's see if I can get this over here without it being really, really yellow. Can you see that, Donna? Let's see.
And again, very, very sheer. Really moisturizing. They feel fantastic. So that's our first color, as you can see. More like a caramel. Here's our second color, a little bit more pink. Take this, oh, this is pretty. So you can see true, because you know, usually I'm in white light. But I ordered um, 200 and um, 202 for myself today. Not that I don't like 201, but I, I'm not a pinky person. And again, look at that. Woo, woo, woo. You got to love it. And I should all let you know that I'm a little nervous that Karen is on here because she's our office resident makeup expert. So she's watching this old lady. She has absolutely beautiful technique in makeup. But she's watching this old lady put her uh, makeup on. All right, here we go with the full coverage. This is color 100. You like that hair? Now I can tell you that the shears feel more moisturizing. I mean, this feels moisturizing also, but there's something about the sheer that feels, um, maybe it's lighter. But I like this color because I think it's an awesome, awesome neutral. It's not too pink. It's not too, you know, brown. It's just a really, really good neutral. So let's go to another wipe. Yeah, I posted yesterday on Facebook, guys. I don't ever want to hear anybody complain about Washington traffic. I have never seen anything like Atlanta traffic. It is unbelievable. And the area that we're staying in, which is like southeast Atlanta, has the nicest people in the world, and half the storefronts are closed down. It's really sad. Okay. That's that one. Color 100. So it's been kind of an interesting visit so far, and everybody, as I said, is so nice. All right, now we're going to go brown. This is 101. Yeah, that's a true tawny brownish color. I mean, it's great for fall. It wouldn't be my go-to neutral, but it may be your go-to neutral. See, Susan loves it. Very brown. Again. I love these makeup, make-off cloths. If you, if you ever, you should tell everybody, y'all, to get, people should buy you stocking stuffers. All right, here we go, Donna. This is not going to be your fan favorite. This is color 102. Mm. 
Pink on the finger. Susan, the hot pink is 102. The brownish kind of caramel color is 101. I'm going absolutely in numerical order. I mean, this is pretty. If I was in a different outfit, I'm wearing my Darth Vader outfit today. Tracy actually picks this, this shirt up for me with a squirt because it's easy going in and out of these buildings. I mean, if I was in a different outfit, like something a little brighter, it'd probably be real pretty. Blush on, little makeup, you know, using the palette in our, in our rose colors and our golds, it would be really pretty. But if you're looking a little, see, if you're looking a little washed out, you're a little washed out. It's a really pretty fuchsia. Thank you, Susan. I was going to say this one had to leave a little stain. All right, now we're going to get crazy. This is 103. It's red. 103 and 104 are both reds. 104 is um, red hot, 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 hot red, red hot. I think this one's prim and proper. Now, I can tell you all day today, I've watched beauty guides of all ages rock this red. This red, the 103, has a little bit more orange to it. I don't know if you can see it. You know how reds can be cool or they can be warm? This one, to me, is more of a warm red. Okay? Um, yeah, it's definitely... Let me see if I could put both these up. Sorry, guys. See if you can appreciate the difference. Okay. This is 103. That's 104. This is a little deeper, and you can see it's a little bit more blue. This is what I currently have on. But I'm telling you, like I said, women today, all ages, have been rocking this red lipstick. Legitimately rocking it and they're you know average looking women so we'll get this off hi Jenny well you know what Donna these reds are so true um and the coverage is so good that you can't really go wrong with with one or the other. Um, on you, probably 104. Because I think that with your dark hair, that it would really, really be stunning. And that is, you know, that's that true, Donna, that's that true Aunt Flo red. Okay, if you're going to think of Aunt Flo in a red, that would be it. Aunt Flo, guys, um, for frame of reference, um, she was Donna's uh, great aunt and was very much a lady, worked at Lord & Taylor's into her 70s, um, very, very fashionable, very um, sweet, very, you know, etiquette was everything, um, but Aunt Flo was like a Chanel girl, and she would wear 104. So let's put that on and see what we get after I make sure I get enough of this red off. Jenny, I'm in a hotel room in Atlanta, Georgia. So I've been up all day at dog shows, running around getting school supplies. My husband's in Nevada. 
Um, I have my stepson with me. Oh, gotta love the alarm. So I've got this really ugly green wall behind me, but it's the best lighting in the room. So here we go with 104. You know, if my mother had told me years ago that smoking was gonna ruin the bow on my, on my upper lip, I probably would have stopped, okay? Instead, I heard all these other crazy things. Which are legitimate. And that's not a, um, a rundown here, guys. That is. Yeah, and a ton of perfume Aunt Flo did. Oh, Deb, I can't do that Southern accent. You know, I'm a California girl that got sent to New York and then transplanted as far south of the Mason-Dixon line as anybody would allow me to go back in 74, okay, which was Fairfax, Virginia. But I'm loving Atlanta, except for the traffic, Debbie. Traffic's horrible. Anyway. So do we like 103 or 104? Huh? Need a little fill there. Come on guys, don't be shy. Y'all tell me my business all the time. Oh, Susan, you like 103 better, really? Maybe because I've got this reddish hair thing going on. Maybe because I've had too much lipstick on this evening and not enough whatever. See, now when I take my glasses off, I can't talk to you all. <laughs> Maybe that's a good thing, I don't know. But anyway, the, like I said, the thing that I love about these lipstick, the, the, there's a variety of things that I love about the lipstick. Number one, I love that, you know, Alcone really responded to um, the beauty guide input and that of our customers and came out with a tube lipstick. Um, I don't mind carrying the palettes, you know, with me. I don't like to put my finger in them. I always use a brush, but, um, you know, a lot of the women wanted the tube and they did a fabulous job from the packaging to the, you know, clicking on, um, top to the, range of colors, which are all very classic, um, with a little edge, okay? Um, the, the sheer tint that, that just feels phenomenal, okay, um, on my lips. You know, I, I tend to wear sheers anyway, down to the full cover, coverage and that range of colors. Um, they were smart too, because you know, when, when you look at colors, you certainly wouldn't offer a red in a tent. I mean, I wouldn't, because you're gonna, you know, it's gonna look pink. So they, they really parlayed their strengths in terms of, the, of their color selection into the different products. And they have something for everybody, whether you prefer to wear warmer, you know, colors in the shears or cools, that plum is to die for. I mean, it's absolutely to die for. That should be a new neutral, you know, is the, um, We've got here the 202. Now the two, hold on. Yeah, I think it's the 202. There it is, it's hiding. Yeah, the 202. All I've seen are numbers today. When you're at a dog show, everybody's a number, so I'm a little numbered burned out. But um, the full coverage, you know, it gives you that fantastic bright pink, um, which will play into the Lottie palette um, collection that's coming out, hopefully in October, that you guys have seen previews of. Um, to, you know, the wonderful neutral, the true neutral, to the bright reds. I mean, you can't ask for a, a nicer quality product you know, with the incredible um, quality and and integrity of of our company, you just can't. And like I told you earlier, it was blowing up today. Um, 
will probably sell out in back order very quickly um, if you're inclined to purchase you know you may want to do that you can I'm hoping that you know we'll have plenty of stock to um, set these end up on people's you know Christmas wish list because it's a really really great gift along with our um, enduring lip colors and our um, our lip glosses but does anybody have any questions for me as I'm sitting here taking red lipstick off this is something my grandmother would have worn my grandmother was a class act if you're gonna wear red it's got to be classy and both of these are very classy do we agree with that I can't see what you guys are writing so I'm gonna put on my glary progressives no Deborah sheer plum is not what I have on now I have on red hot number 104 maybe I can get that sheer plum back on Janice I need you in color 104 okay Deb here is the sheer plum called plum luck very very light all these go on so smoothly but that's the plum Deb <clears throat> it's just a really really pretty color 104 was that last bright red that I put on Janice in that pretty Deb and then if you go back and you watch the video after I post it there's three Of our tints this is one of them that's color 200 this is more of a mm, mauvey color that's 201 and then the one I love if you're looking for full cover coverage as a neutral was 100 this is to die for it gives you such a beautiful neutral lip and you know guys neutral lips transcend age if you want to order Deb um, it's www.limelight by Alcone a l c o n e dot com forward slash Holly Harrington I can send you a link okay to it and um, I really think you'll be pleased I, I Deb I don't know if you've been watching anything but a little bit about the company um, been in business for over 60 years the parent company is Alcone um, which provides makeup to the um, to the professionals and you know anybody can say that so I'll give you the background okay it's a store in New York City they've been in business forever multi-generation okay um, they they provided makeup to makeup artists who work in theater television movies a um, lot of photo shoots magazine photo shoots um, they decided several years ago and really not that long ago about two years ago that they should sheer plum is two two hundred two oh two that they should um, open up their business so that their makeup artists that purchased retail at the store or wholesale could offer these products to their clients and, and many of them are celebrity clients and so they started limelight by Alcone and then it just blossomed skincare line is 100% um, natural it utilizes a lot of organic um, elements essential oils um, it's totally changed my skin and for those of you who know my stepson who's been on a um, another product I put him because he was having face freak out there's nothing worse than teenage face freak out on Friday and he's a picker okay um, 
He'll pick anything, okay? He picks his lips like this, you know, he's, a, he's fidgety. So um, he was really picking his face and making it look really bad. And so we had a long conversation because picking and popping, he gets very, you know, literal sometimes out of convenience, so not because there's anything wrong with him. And anyway, um, we had this big conversation about how I wanted him to just trust me and, you know, does he trust me, blah, blah, blah. And I put him on our Dream Clean, our Mask of Zen, and our Calm Bomb, which is for oily, that, that, that's the oily side of our stuff. And he had a dramatic, dramatic improvement in his face in 24 hours. He has not touched his face since using this. And today we both masked together, which was kind of hysterical. Um, nothing like bonding with your 16 year old stepson over Mask of Zen, but it was a absolutely wonderful experience. So we do have this fantastic skin care line, chemical free, um, most of the ingredients organic, Hopping Bunny certified, no cruelty, um, and then this incredible line of professional makeup, which is to die for. And even in this heat, you know, I'm going full face tomorrow. The makeup is so light, the foundation, that you don't even feel like you're on. There's nothing worse than having suffocating skin and watching your makeup drip off your face, okay, and onto your clothing. I have never had that happen, ever, ever, ever. And we've had some 100 degree days between my trips to Florida and up there in Northern Virginia have never had a problem. So anyway, do we have any questions? I'm gonna take my plum off. Here, let me show you my beautiful smile. Hopefully, I don't have any stuff on it. That's my, my son calls that my fake smile. He's like, come on, mom, do a fake smile. Okay. <laughs> anyway, now you can see what I look like all shop worn. Questions, comments? Takes a lot of nerve looking like I do in a hotel room in Atlanta, Georgia, doing lippies on a Friday night. I'm so glad my husband's not part of this group. Anyway, I really missed you guys. Because I haven't been on most of the week. And again, if you consider any adjunct pur uh, purchase, you really ought to look at these wipes, especially for, well, for anything you put on your face. And let's see, let's take the white cloth test. There's a little tiny bit. I don't even know if you could see it. Yep, it's right there, little tiny bit. And that's after having all that red on and everything else. All right, are we good ladies? Cause I'm gonna go. I'm gonna fill up my Keurig. I'm gonna go outside and play with some, I don't know what they, something Flanders. It's this big dog that looks like hot. He just looks hot. Cause he's got all this black fur. He's so cute. But um, that's where I'm at. Janice, are you coming up here? I was hoping Janice was gonna come up here from Florida. I don't think she's going to though. I'm gonna be so disappointed. Janice, I'm waiting. I saw everybody today, Janice. I saw everybody, including that crazy dog, um, legally blonde. Hey y'all. <laughs> Deb, you're a mess. Deborah used to work for us and now she lives down. Deborah, I almost shot a picture as I was going through Raleigh, Durham and that whole area and said coming to visit. Anyway, um, she moved down to that area a, a number of years ago. One of the best nurses I ever had and I'm wishing she'd come back. I always tell her and her husband, Chris, and her two girls that we want her back. But now that Julie's in high school, I'm screwed. <laughs> okay. Anyway, yeah, your homeland. I'm your motherland, Deb. The motherland, okay? Anyway, ladies, I will see you later. Enjoy your Friday night. I think we're going to have a Zen party on Sunday. What do you all think? Should we do a Zen party Sunday evening? 
Dog stepped on my cat block. I'm not yelling. Oh, my God. All right, guys. I love and miss you, too. I'll be on Sunday. We'll, we'll zen together. All right? See ya. Bye.